Cucumber is an annual herbaceous plant. It is grown as a salad cucumber in the open field and in the greenhouses, and as an industrial one called gherkin. It is consumed fresh and as a pickle. It has low caloric value. In today's video, we will share all the important information about growing cucumbers with you, so you can support us by following our channel and following daily tips on growing healthy plants. Cucumber has a poorly developed root system. It is spread very shallowly from 5 to 25 centimeters. The tree or shrub is branched. The length of the tree depends on the variety and growing conditions. Its length can be up to 3 meters. The leaves are large and some varieties have spiny growth on the underside. Side shoots grow in the axils of the leaves and in some varieties they are removed or left for the fruit. Cucumber is a plant that develops male and female flowers on the same stem. Male flowers often develop more and the yield is then very low. That is why hybrids of cucumbers with female flowers are grown for the market. For outdoor development, an average daily temperature higher than 15 degrees Celsius is required, while the optimum is from 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. Flowering begins at a temperature of 15 to 17 degrees Celsius, and pollination is best done at a temperature between 18 and 21 degrees. 30 to 40 days should pass from the day the fruits are laid to the harvest. The growth rate of individual fruits depends on the number of fruits on the plant. The fruiting time lasts between one and a half and two and a half months. For its growth and development, it needs a lot of moisture, both in the soil and in the air. The relative humidity should be between 85 and 90 percent, which is difficult to achieve in outdoor conditions. The most favorable soil moisture is about 70 percent of the soil's full capacity for water. For example, a total of 90 to 150 liters of water per square meter for two months of cultivation. In the beginning, watering is less frequent and with smaller amounts of water, and later, especially during fruiting and harvesting, the cucumber requires watering every 4 to 5 days, depending on the type of soil and cultivation. Deep, fertile and loose soils rich in organic matter, natural or slightly acidic reaction between pH 5.5 and, and 6.5 and are best for growing cucumbers. Heavy, cold and highly acidic soils are not conductive to quality cultivation of this crop. Cucumber is a good pre-culture for tomatoes, cabbage and peppers. Suitable pre-cultures for cucumber include cabbage, celery, green beans, lettuce, peas and sweet corn. Soil cultivation begins in autumn with deep plowing and before sowing or planting it is cultivated if necessary. Before autumn soil cultivation, it is good to add manure to the soil, so that the soil will be rich in nutrients in spring. As a main crop, it is sown at the end of April and as a fasting crop during June. It is sown on larger areas using seed drills and on smaller ones manually in rows. It is sown in rows at a distance of 80 to 100 cm between rows and 20 to 30 cm between plants in a row. Gherkins are sown more densely and the amount of seed depends on the sowing density and amount to 2 to 4 kg per hectare. 
If an early cucumber is produced, sowing is done in warm greenhouses 30 to 40 days before planting in a permanent place. A better way of production is a production on black polyethylene film. The soil under the film heats up much faster, which enables faster sprouting and better development of plants. The foil prevents the growth of weeds and the shaped fruits are clean because most of them are on the foil. Plants are not in direct contact with the soil so they are less exposed to infection by diseases found in the soil. The film for growing cucumbers on larger areas is placed with a film spreader or by hand. At the same time as the foils are laid, perforated pipes can be placed under the foils for later irrigation using the drip system. Cucumber is sown by placing two seeds in one hole and covering it with a thin layer of soil. This is our assurance that at least one seed will sprout and if both sprout, we will just remove one or transplant it to another place. Before sowing, you can check the seeds by placing them in water and only use seeds that have sunk. Those that float on water are not good. You can also leave the seeds in a soaked napkin for a few days, so they will sprout and you will know exactly which seeds are healthy and which are not. In that way you will also ensure the faster development of the plant, but you must be careful not to damage the sprout when planting the seeds. The safest method of production which achieves the highest yields is cultivation on reinforcement. Due to the better ventilation of the plants on the reinforcement, there are fewer problems with diseases, the fruits are clean and the harvest is easier. For reinforcement, two meter high posts are used, connected by a wire to which a rope is tied or a plastic net is spread between the posts on which the plant climbs and they are buried so that tire top is 150 to 180 centimeters above the ground. Irrigation plays a very important role in all of this. As I said in the beginning, a little less water is needed, but it is important that the soil is always moderately moist after sowing, never too much, and you must not allow the soil around the seeds to dry out. After only a few days, our plants have sprouted and are progressing nicely. Now it's time to start thinking about making the construction. And of course, we will make a special video about that topic. Here we will show you the easiest way to make a structure for cucumbers. For an average cucumber fertilization before planting, it is necessary to apply at least 150 kg per hectare of nitrogen, 160 kg per hectare of phosphorus, 300 kg per hectare of potassium, and 65 kg per hectare of calcium. Foliar feeding is also possible, but this makes production more expensive and care should be taken not to burn the leaves and flowers of the plant during application. If you decide to use foliar feeding with water-soluble fertilizers, then in the phase from transplanting to flowering, which lasts about 22 to 25 days, the formulation NPK 10 40 10 should be used. From the period of flowering to the formation of fruits, which lasts from 20 to 22 days, the formulation of NPK fertilizer 16832 is used. From fruit formation to harvest and during harvest in a period of 50 days and beyond, the formulation of NPK 91236 is used. In the meantime, if there is a loss of leaf mass for any reason, it is necessary to apply the formulation of NPK 2020-20 once a week. 
If you don't want to fertilize them through the leaves, you can give these water-soluble fertilizers through the drop-by-drop -drop system in the same way, in the same quantity. Just simply water your plant with these fertilizers. Cucumbers for industrial processing are harvested every two days, depending on the class. The first class contains of fruits 3 to 5 cm long and about 1.5 cm in diameter. Second class, fruits from 5 to 7 cm long, about 2 cm in diameter. Larger fruits are not commercially acceptable because only a small amount is pickled. If the fruit is 9 to 12 cm long, it is mainly used cut. Harvesting is done manually, only on larger areas it is mechanized. Salad cucumber is harvested when the fruits take on the color, size and shape characteristic of the variety. Cucumber yields for industrial processing can be 25 to 50 tons per hectare and salad ones 22 to 40 tons per hectare. And these differences are directly related to the method of cultivation, time of cultivation and financial investments in the production. This is a video with basic very useful information related to the cultivation of cucumbers. And of course, in the period ahead of us, we will pay special attention to the way of maintaining cucumber plants, fertilizing, removing the stems. All important tips on how to achieve large and high quality yields will be available to you in time. We hope that these are enough reasons to follow our channel, support our dedicated work to growing healthy plants together. Like and share the video so that other people can benefit from our work. For all questions, contact us in the comments below the video or just write where you are watching us from. We are always glad to hear that.